Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Okay, let's get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. What clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Virgos? Please, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Clarity, guidance. Love messages for my Virgos, please. Okay. All right, so we're going to do you versus them. You place yourself where it resonates, okay? So we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the Star, Aquarian energy, Six of Pentacles, Temperance, Sagittarian energy, the Magician, Virgo Gemini energy and the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. So for whoever's on this side, I feel like somebody here um, has been waiting because that Knight of Pentacles energy is a very slow moving energy. Um, it's an energy of stability. It's an energy of commitment. So someone here has been waiting for some time to have their wishes filled. And I feel that with the Six of Pentacles in Temperance, someone's patience has run out. Like I've given this all I can. Obviously feelings are not reciprocated here. Or obviously, you know, I'm starting to see that you're not giving to this connection as much as I am. And with the Magician and the Queen of Wands, I feel like someone's confidence gets built now someone here is confident that it's time for them to stand up it's time for them to manifest it's time for someone someone's like you know what i'm I, someone is realizing their worth the queen of wands energy realizes their worth they realize what they want what they want to manifest so someone is in this energy of you know what if you don't want to do this with me i'm going to get up and manifest on my own you see what i'm saying so let's see here spirit what clarity guidance do we have here for my Virgos, please? Clarity, guidance for my Virgos, please, Spirit. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> this deck wants to talk. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Star, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, yeah, someone here has spent a lot of time waiting. A lot of time waiting. Someone here has spent so much time waiting for that blessing, for things to go in their favor. And I feel like they're just tied. They've healed from it. Six of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Temperance and the Ace of Swords. You see, someone is just coming to this awakening of, I've waited so long. I don't even know if I want it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like someone's not six of pentacles, three of wands. Someone's like, do I really want this? Because obviously, you know, if it was meant for me, I wouldn't be waiting for this for so long. The magician and the five of wands, queen of wands and the two of pentacles. Um, yeah, <laughs> someone here is about to start. Uh, I feel like someone here is going to start pursuing other options because that five of wands does talk about competition. Okay. It does talk about jealousy. It does talk about strife. I feel like this queen of wands is going to start to put himself or herself out there and start juggling now, start pursuing other options because the problem is, is that this queen of wands energy, and it is energy, this could be a male. Okay. We don't read gender here. So the Queen of Wands is confident in what she wants, right? And the problem here is, is that she's in an energy of, I'm not sure with what you want. So therefore, I need to go pursue other options. I, I need to go pursue, you know, do other things here. Because this Queen of Wands does have other people that want to be with her or him. Do you understand? And I feel like this Queen of Wands has remained stagnant for long enough. So let's see what we have on this side. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here? So we've got the Nine of Cups. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We've got the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Eight of Swords. <sighs> So Virgo, what I'm feeling here is we maybe possibly have someone. 
everything is looking amazing and then this eight of swords hits because this is wish fulfillment someone here is happy someone here has money they've got a house they've got a home they may be married they may have children uh four of wands this person may be living with somebody they may be just someone here is doing really really amazing but with the eight of swords something is off so what is off here Oh, this person might be married, Virgo. So this person may be in a higher level of commitment. They may be trapped in a higher level of commitment. And that's why this person here has been waiting all of this time. And now someone's getting tired and they're like, listen, I'm going to go do my own thing. Tell me about this Nine of Cups, the Justice card, Libra Energy, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, so what's happening here is this person is paying their karma. Okay, this person's paying their karma because with that Nine of Cups energy, someone here was very smug, very selfish. With the Ten of Pentacles energy, this person didn't make a decision because again, remember how I told you someone's been waiting for a long time here? This person was procrastinating and making a decision because they're happily married. They're in a happy relationship with the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups. This person is giving the illusion that maybe they're unhappy when in fact they're they're happily committed here the empress and the ace and the uh king the um page of pentacles this person may be married with children or may even currently be pregnant okay there may be someone here that's even currently pregnant um four of wands under the deck four of wands yeah someone here is you know planning a marriage nine of cups yeah eight of swords and the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. Yeah, see, someone here is, they're living their life. They're living their life. And with the Eight of Swords and the moon card, I feel like this person likes to cause illusions. They like to, they like to lie. They like to say things to get into people's head. And I feel like this person thought that they had this Queen of Wands trapped. See, uh, the Ten, the Six of Wands, someone here thought that they were winning. Someone here thought that they were winning. Someone here had a huge ego. Like, yeah, I got it in the bag. I got my cake and I'm eating it too. <clears throat> nope. That is not what's happening here. Because this, this, you know, Queen of Wands said, no, I'm going to go do me. So let's see what the challenge here is. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone has dipped off and found new love. Mm -hmm. Someone's not waiting anymore. Someone's not, after, after a period of waiting, because you have to remember that Hanged Man waits for a little bit, but then becomes enlightened. Do you understand? And that's the Eight of Swords energy here. Someone starts to realize that, you know what, I'm single, I'm not even in a commitment, so I'm leaving. Someone here has dipped off. Someone here is to, to take whatever they need, and just Five of Pentacles left the building. Yeah, I feel like someone here has found a third party, Ace of uh, Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Someone here has met someone new, and it's a more solid type of foundation, and they're going for it. They're going for it. Yeah, someone here is realizing Ace of Swords again in the Judgment card. Someone here is making uh, a final decision. Someone's making a final decision. What outcome do we see here? What outcome do we see here, please, Spirit? King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles. Someone here is walking away. Someone here isn't just walking away. Someone here is emotionally disconnecting to work on themselves and to work on um, another situation that is worth it. That is worth their time. That's what we see happening here. So we've got present power. Someone here had to, you know, had to make a decision uh, between two people. We've got someone that decided to play it safe. And with dark thoughts, yeah. So someone here had to choose between two people, but someone here said, I'm going to play it safe. And I'm going to keep my security, keep my family, keep my home, keep everything, and keep this too. But see, with dark thoughts, this Queen of Wands is like, no, I'm not going to be treated like this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone didn't want to make a decision because they wanted it. To, they didn't want to lose anything. Man holding a heart. Rest and rejuvenation. So someone here gave a lot of love. They really tried, and now they're tired. 
Now they need a break. Someone's just done. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you see here, Virgo, I feel like there's going to be a sense of you're, someone is moving into the new and they're not bringing the toxicity of the past with them. They're going to forgive, learn their lesson and move on. And as you can see with getting to know each other, there's three people there. So I feel like there's an energy of, you know, leaving someone behind, leaving a third party behind or still being in the process of like maybe this queen of wands because as you could see with that five of wands energy there's going to be a bit of jealousy here and with that two of pentacles i feel that this queen of wands is still maybe talking or dealing with this person here as they pursue other options yeah the you know so the, someone here is facing their karma someone here is facing their karma someone didn't want to make a decision so it was made for them okay i love you bye